Hi, in this video lecture, we are going to learn about sorting algorithm in C language. So basically, uh, the sorting algorithm which we are going to learn is quick sort, and and the the and C has a predefined library which we are going to use to sort an algorithm by the by using quick sort algorithm. Uh, the algorithm which is which is behind the sorting technique which is a predefined library of C is a quick sort, sort algorithm. Then what is the profit of using quick sort algorithm or predefined library of uh, quick uh, sort in C? The benefit of using the predefined library of sorting in C is you can sort an array permanently. Uh, so because it it uses a pointer to sort an array. So basically, uh, it sort the exact array which you want to, uh, to further use in your program. So first of all, we make a function, and it uses a comparative uh, function. So we start with a, a name C M P F U N C. You can provide any name to it. Okay, int C M P compare function. And uh, you, we have to take two parameters: void const star a void const star b. Now uh, we have to return the return. Value. With the use of this algorithm, we sort this array permanently. Okay, so let's check how to do. Int star a minus star int star b so basically we first we print our unsorted array unsorted array before sorting sorting either mean ascending or descending order but in this program we are sorting in ascending order and by following this method you can sort an uh, array in ascending order okay just you have to remember this uh, this function so that you can you can easily write this function wherever you want while at the time of programming or competitive uh, coding you just have to write this function and i am telling you further what you have to do for loop and sorry we have we have to take here int n and is the size of the array we have to first inside the size of an array from 0 to n is less than 5 and plus plus uh, print f percent d give a space and print err and now the method the predefined method in c is to sort an algorithm is q sort you have to write q sort and then you uh, the first parameter you have to write is name of the array i i the name of the array is this and the second parameter in q sort is the size of the arrays there is five element in the array so we write five then the third parameter is the is the data type uh, data type size of an array we are using int data type so we have to write size of 
int then we have to write our function what we have brought here the comparative function comparative function so cmpfunc okay that's it it sorted an array okay we will see after it when we run the program then you will know the main thing for loop n equal to 0 you just basically have to remember this method and this thing this is a predefined function uh, uh, predefined or you can say predefined library in C to sort an array as fast as possible if you remember it all the time and you can sort an array very fastly so you, you have to remember it okay now it will print the sorted array so we have to write and print a function here that after sorting okay print f Person D we are again fetching the the array which we called earlier but after after applying this method this array is sorted now we can check this array is sorted or not by getting its value okay now run run our program and check it so we have to write here now you see that okay we have to apply some space here to okay okay so now you see that before sorting 8856 unsorted array after sorting the array is sorted there i am not printing the different array i am just printing the single the array which is just unsorted before and after applying this qsort sort uh, library of c uh, this array is sorted so you just have to remember this q sort and this method to apply sorting uh, an array in your C language and after it you can perform any function like binary search or any 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 method you want to apply uh, which is required after sorting then you can do this so if you like my video please subscribe our channel hackers tech geek and thanks for watching